Okay, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about what I do. So the main idea in geometric group theory is that you start with these fairly abstract objects, groups, which are abstract algebraic <coughs> objects, and you try to understand them by modeling them with geometric objects. You try and get a geometric picture of your group and then use the geometry to tell you something new about the group, which is difficult to do on, in a strictly algebraic way. It turns out that these geometric objects, some of the geometric objects that arise in studying groups, also are excellent ways of modeling certain physical systems. And I thought that rather than talk about abstractions today, I would concentrate on this side of the picture, and I'm actually going to say very little of, uh, about groups in today's talk, and I'm rather going to use the physical systems as a motivation, as an excuse, to introduce these interesting geometries and then talk about the geometry. So I won't be saying a whole lot about what I do with, with them. Okay, so what do we mean by modeling? Well, everybody knows that mathematics is a good way to model real-world phenomena. And most people, when you think modeling, mathematical modeling, I mean, what do you think of? Well, maybe functions, graphs, uh, equations that relate various quantities to each other. And by studying these equations or these graphs, we learn more about um, the, the systems we're studying. Well, and today I want to talk about, and I think this has become increasingly important as a way of modeling things, many complex systems are best modeled using geometric objects, and the geometry itself can then tell us something about the system. So I want to talk about a particular example of that today. Um, well, here's my goals. My goals, the, the talk really has two parts. The first part is to talk about how we build these geometric models, and I'll be using a particular example from robotics today to talk about constructing such models, and then to look at those geometries, to play with the geometry a little, see what properties it has, and how those properties can tell us something about the system we started. So that's, that's what we're going to be talking about. 